When you think of Santa, what do you picture? A big red coat, a white beard, a round belly? Well, what about the color of his skin? The tradition of a black Santa Claus is older than you think and just as valid as any other version of Saint Nick. The idea of Santa Claus comes from a mishmash of Christmas traditions, including Dutch and English notions of a jovial gift giver, as well as the persona of Saint Nicholas, a 4th century Christian monk from present-day Turkey who, by the way, was likely not white himself. Who we know as Santa today is largely the product of a newspaper cartoonist named Thomas Nast and Coca-Cola advertisements. The myth's final look was only locked down in the 1930s, but that didn't stop people from having adamant opinions about Santa's skin color. Today, Black Santa stands as a shining example of the power of representation, a universal symbol who reflects all children who believe in him, but that wasn't always the case. Enslaved black people were first introduced to the notion of Santa Claus in the 19th century, largely to reinforce the myth of benevolent enslavers and ensure that the people they enslaved remained dependent on them. After the Civil War, Black Santa began to appear in minstrel shows across the country, portrayed as a hateful mockery of the idea that Santa could be anything other than white. These shows were disgustingly popular around the turn of the 20th century, and their depiction of Black Santa as a grotesque, bumbling fool left white America in stitches. In response, black communities fought to reclaim the concept of Black Santa. In 1919, a Pittsburgh newspaper reported on the first Black Santa ever put on the streets of any city. By 1936, Harlem got its own Black Santa when famous tap dancer Bill Bojangles Robinson donned the hat and beard at a Christmas party for underprivileged children. Black Santas continued rising in popularity between the post-World War II boom and the Civil Rights Movement, but during the late 60s, the Black Power Movement fought to dump St. Nick and all his racist baggage entirely. This sentiment led to the creation of Kwanzaa and a series of Black Christmas parades in Chicago that proudly featured a soul saint Santa clad in a velvet dashiki and throwing up a black gloved fist in solidarity. The notion of a black Santa that was so radical in the 60s and 70s has become a widely accepted part of U.S. culture. The Mall of America hired its first black Santa in 2016, while Disney introduced black Santas to their parks in 2021. Both moves were met with the usual online controversy from Scrooges fighting against an imaginary war on Christmas, particularly the Grinches at Fox News. And by the way, for all you kids watching at home, Santa just is white, but this person is just arguing that, that maybe we should, we should also have a black Santa. Just because it makes you feel uncomfortable doesn't mean it has to change. You know, I mean, Jesus yeah. was a white man too. Santa Claus is black and Asian and Latina and indigenous. And yes, he's white too. Santa is a reflection of the children all over the world who celebrate Christmas and believe in his kindness, generosity, and joy.